epic Funko Pop haul time. In this video, I'm going to open up this box from Walmart, this box from Walgreens, this box from eBay, this box from Robert Toner Dolls, this box from eBay, this box from Japan. Really excited to open that. This box from Hot Topic. This mega epic box from Facebook. This awesome gift from a YouTube friend. This holler haul. Another holler box. I love a discount. This epic box from Facebook. Really epic. And this box of pops I bought from someone who brought them into my store. Hello, YouTube friends and neighbors. It's time for me to catch up on all my packages. I've had a lot of these stacked up for the last month and a half. And I've been so busy doing a ton of things. But I figured it's time to have one big epic haul unboxing video where I unbox all these cool packages all these awesome Funko Pops plus some other really cool stuff now as you know in the background I've been sorting my Funko Pop collection so hopefully sometime later this month I actually do a collection tour I'm about a third of the way through my collection I've pulled out a lot of duplicates I'm sorting them they're not 100% sorted but they're semi sorted like all the Star Wars are here but they're not in order like all the rogue ones aren't together and whatnot but it's it's been fun actually seeing all these Funko Pops and I'm looking forward to going through the rest of my boxes. I'm only about six months into my collection. I have to get all the older boxes of Pops opened up. Okay, I'm really excited to dig into a lot of the stuff. I don't remember everything I ordered. Some of the stuff's been here for a month and a half, so it's gonna be a big surprise for me. Obviously, once I see it, I'm gonna remember ordering it, but I don't know what everything is, and this is gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this gift. Now, right before New York City Comic Con, maybe like the end of September, this guy Rich contacted me on Facebook. He was interested, I think, in some Lego figures and some Funko Pops, but we got to talking and we were chatting about about what we wanted from New York Comic Con. And he's a big like DuckTales, Darkwing Duck fan. So we were talking about the, what was it? The Negatron that came out for San Diego Comic Con. I said, oh, you know, I didn't get it. He said he still saw one as FYE. So I was like, ah, oh, well, I'm not sure how much it'll cost the ship. And he's like, don't worry about it. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, gift. I'm like, really? So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think this is the first item that someone just sent me. I, I've had a few people add, like I've purchased collections and people add a few things, but I think this is the first item that someone just sent me as a gift. And I, I'm, I'm beyond words. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. And I'm excited. It's a cool pop. So let me get this open now. He sent this to me like a month and a half ago. So he's been so patient. Oh, and he also said, if I wanted to, I could link to his Instagram. So that's what I'll do. I'll add a link to his Instagram below. All right, so let me dig into this. <laughs> it's been sitting in my hallway for like a month and a half. Call my name. Open me. Open me, open me, and I was just like, <laughs> I know, and he was very patient. Uh, you guys are so patient with me sometimes. It does, I really want to dig into the stuff as soon as it comes in, but I collect a lot more than I really should, and I buy a lot more and all that, just because I love making videos, and I love making content for you guys. So I can't open it until it's on video. I have to. It's just what I need to do for myself, because then I feel like I'm having fun with you guys, and that's what I want to do. I mean, it would be cool just to open up stuff, but then, you know, I did that before YouTube. Now that I have YouTube, I feel the urge to open it on video, because I want to have fun with you guys. That's why I do this channel. Let's look in the box. All right. Oh, he's packing peanuts. Packing peanuts are good. Keeps it protected. Oh, man. Oh, so excited. I think he even said this is the first thing he shipped out, so great job. Negatron. Ah, oh, he's so cool looking. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I didn't have this one yet. I'm super happy to add that to my collection. He's really cool. I just didn't see him on the website and I couldn't, I think he was a FYE exclusive and I just couldn't get out the FYE to find him. So, uh, so excited. I'll show you a close up of him at the end of this video when I recap. Thanks again, Rich. I'm going to link to your Instagram in the comments below. So if you guys want to see what he's about, you can check out his Instagram. Oh, so awesome. So happy about that. And now, uh, my Disney row is really high. <laughs> I gotta make another Disney row. Let's do a bunch of the Funko Pop stuff first, since that's what you guys like the most. So we'll open up this Walmart box. September 29th, so a month and a half. So this was before Comic-Con. I'm assuming that this might be San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pops. Not 100% sure. Or some kind of Walmart exclusive that I ordered. I don't remember. I'll let you guys get a sneak peek before I dig in. Oops. Uh, at least they gave me some cushioning. Okay, it feels like one, two, three, or four Funko Pops. Or, no, a couple of Funko Pops and something bigger. Not sure what it is. Let's see what we got. Oh, cool, Baxter Stockman. 
I almost ordered him again. <laughs> he went back in stock another time. I really wanted him. I missed him when he first came out. Really happy to get that. All right, so cool. Oh, so happy to get that. Almost ordered him again. So I'm happy that I didn't order him again because I got him already. <laughs> All right, what else is in this box? Oh, cool. Okay, I got the Combat Assault Tank Trooper from Rogue One. That was another one I almost ordered again. So I guess I had in my head, I didn't have them. I should get them, but I didn't order them, but I did order them like a month and a half ago. <laughs> Very cool. And then the last thing in here is a big heavy thing. Oh, okay. This is cool. I might give this the cool gift for Christmas, but I needed one more thing. Let's see, that was 30, it's $35 for free shipping. So I needed like $5 more. So I bought this, this was maybe like $8 to $10 to get the free shipping, which is cool. I kind of want to keep them at the same time. So I'm not hundred percent sure. I know my son is such a Spider-Man fan right now. He might want that though. Oh, he's really cool looking. Okay, awesome. Walmart won out. Walmart was awesome. And again, at the end of the video, I'll recap everything that I got. Like, we're gonna do the Hot Topic box. This one is more recent, I think. So this is probably, this might be from the recent hot cash phrase. Now what you guys can do with hot cash is they no longer have shared codes. So you have to find unique codes. But if you look on like Reddit and on a lot of the Funko Pop groups, a lot of people start posting their codes if they don't need them. And a lot of codes can be used three times. So what happens is if you're lucky, you'll find a code and that's what I did. I found enough codes to make a couple orders because who, who doesn't love a discounted Funko Pop? Okay, so this is what it looks like in the box. Wrap. And it looks like I paid $5 a pop, under $5 a pop. I don't know what kind of discount this was. If it was hot cash or what it was. I don't know what's in this box. Uh, okay, this was hot cash. This is everything I bought. What was cool is they were having a $9 sale that you could use hot cash on. So like this Orum from Alien, he looks awesome. He was $4.50 basically. $4.50 plus shipping and tax. So like five bucks after all that. That was really cool though. So I ended up buying a lot of the $4.50 pops. So about $5 after all the other costs. Ah, uh, really cool. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Nebula. I didn't have her yet. I didn't have a lot from this series. I just didn't pick them up when that movie came out. So I'm really happy to grab a couple for under five bucks. I think, oh, they have, this one was in its own box. <laughs> I like when they have their own shipper boxes. That's, wait, I'll get back to that one since I got to put this box down. Oh, we got Dinesh for Silicon Valley. Super happy to get that. I want to finish putting the set together. I think all I need, I think I ordered Dinesh and maybe Ehrlich. And I had Jared and Guilfoy, so I might just need Richard now. Which I'm going to guess, yeah, here's Ehrlich. So again, all these are $4.50. $4.50, like after tax and shipping, five, maybe five fifty. Super awesome. Oh, and the last one, really cool, is Mantis. So that's cool. I got a couple of the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Pops, a couple of the Silicon Valley, and a cool Alien Pop for less than $6 each. Awesome. Oh, and then one more that was... And we got Steven Universe Rose Quartz. She's really pretty. Her paint's a little bit messed up, but that's Funko Pops for you. So again, I think she was a 450 one. So that this was a great deal. I'm so happy I was able to find a little bit of hot cash. I think I made two other orders and I didn't get those in yet. So I expect them to show up soon. The only thing I couldn't get was they wouldn't let you use the hot cash on the Stranger Thing Pops. And I really wanted the Hopper in Hazmat Suit. So that's one I'm going to have to get with just like a 30% off coupon or something. Very cool. Okay, I'm happy with that Hot Topic. That's uh, a much newer haul because I just ordered that a week ago. All right, we're getting through these Funko Pops. Next, we got the Walgreens box, I believe. And I think I remember what was in this. This should be the Superior Spider-Man and one or two of their other exclusives. I love when their exclusives show up on the website. It makes life so much easier. You know, I've, I'm done with spending long hours trying to hunt them down in different locations. When you just order them online, that makes me happy, especially they usually do free shipping when you order with like $35. So I end up buying a couple duplicates or just enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm spoiling it. These were all $10 each, but they were all really awesome Funko Pops. Let's see what we got. I'm really excited for these. Oh, this is cool. So this is the Walgreens exclusive medical droid from Star Wars. He looks amazing. I love it. Super awesome. He's now one of my top favorite Star Wars Funko Pops. He just looks so cool. All right, he's definitely awesome. He might be in my top 
10, maybe even top five. I love the way he looks. That is cool. Okay, next we got, uh, oh, Deadpool the Duck. Oh, that one's awesome too. <laughs> These are cool. All right, that's one I really, really wanted. So I'm so happy to get that. And I don't mind paying $10 for an exclusive pop that's a little bit harder to get. I don't always have to have a deal. I'm just happy to have them. And $10 is a fair price considered. Uh-oh, this one feels a little bit squished. Okay, this is the Superior Spider-Man and uh it looks like he got crushed in the mail that's a shame but the store by me has another one that i've kind of hidden so i might go back and get that one i was waiting to open this one and then i'll save this one for the cool kid for christmas he'll be so happy to get that he's been dying we've been going in the last two weeks we kept on looking at it he really wants it so maybe this one will be his because he'll open it up and play with it so crunch box is not the end of the world okay, and then the last one in here is oh valkyrie awesome Oh, she is so cool. She might be one of my top favorite Marvel Funko Pops now. I love her. She's the classic Valkyrie. Now, don't get me wrong. The Thor Ragnarok Valkyrie was the actress. Tessa Thompson, she was an awesome Valkyrie. I really loved her version of Valkyrie. And I also loved the original version of Valkyrie. The, the old school Nordic blonde Valkyrie. So I don't mind that they you know changed her up a little bit. I love both of them. I think they're both really cool versions of Valkyrie. I love this pop though. So awesome. Okay, that box is cool. A little disappointing in the crushy, but it's not the end of the world. Christmas gift. I gotta remind my wife not to let the cool kid watch this video. <laughs> Time to dig into these epic. There's two epic boxes from the same person. It's a lot of three Funko Pops I bought from someone on Facebook. This is dated September 16th. So I ordered these almost two months ago and I paid $150. It's for three pops. So it's pretty epic. The pops that are in here. I got this when everyone was chasing down the Pennywise it pop. I, I never got those. So I'm a little disappointed I don't have them, but I feel like I got a better pop for 50 bucks. So let's dig into it and see what's in here. I, one of the three pops had a little smudge on his face. I think I can clean it up with a magic eraser. So that's why she sold them to me cheap, but I have a feeling I can clean it and it'll be fine. And if not, the price I paid for the three, I paid so cheap. Okay, epic Funko Pop time. I'm gonna let you guys see first before I look at it. All right, there's that box. One Funko Pop, I think is in this box. And oh, it's in a separate box inside the box. So that's really cool, especially considering that's a rare expensive Funko Pop. Oh, I'm nervous, it's been two months too. So <laughs> every every day I see the boxes, I get that like little panic feeling like, oh, I hope they're in there. I hope they arrived all right. Oh, junk. Okay, so this is the one whose nose was a little bit messed up and that's why she sold this one for 50 bucks. But it's the Hulk Hogan Freddy Funko. How awesome is that? Now, I'm not really a big wrestling guy, but uh, Hulk Hogan 80s Funko Pops, I'm cool with that. And, you know, he's limited to $500. $50 is a great price on him. So he has a little bit of, like, some stuff on his nose. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I feel like it's... Yeah, I think he was cast in the plastic color. So I think the little bit of marks on his nose, I think I cleaned that up with the Magic Eraser. So I'm cool with that. $50 is such a great price on him. Okay, so this came from the same person. It's more the epic purchase of three Funko Pops. I paid $50 each, basically. And this was a Facebook deal. I saw it in one of the Facebook groups. So that's what it looked like in the box. And it looks like... Okay, this is cool. So basically, she went to the fun day event and she got the mystery box with three Funko Pops and you usually get three Freddy Funko Pops. So I basically bought her set of three and i wanted this box because it's so cool to get the box that they came in that is really awesome so basically i paid 150 dollars for the three pops and, oh, okay and it looks like these two pops are in individual boxes she did a great job packing these up so happy that i don't have to be sad because it's after for two months before i realized they were just well i'm speaking too soon huh <laughs> let me get into the box first but they feel like they arrived okay oh junk all right i'll let you guys look in there see that's what that is okay this is uh oh I think his arm came off. Oh no! All right, this is the Talladega Knights Freddy Funko. His arm fell off, but I think it just popped out of the socket and didn't actually break. So it just needs a little teeny bit of glue. I'm gonna look at it real quick. I'm a little nervous. Oh yeah. So basically his arm just popped out of the joint, but there's no damage to it. So it should be just a little hint of crazy glue or Gorilla glue right there to hold it in place and it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, phew. Got a little bit nervous there for a second. Okay, that's not bad at all. And again, this is probably the least valuable one out of the three, but $50 for a Freddy Funko limited to 500. 
still a great price. I feel like some people are paying crazy prices for pops that are way more common than this. Not that I'm a big fan of this movie. I don't even know if I've watched it. But I bought the lot. I wanted the full set of three that she had. And then the final one. This is the clown that I hunted down and found while well, everyone else was going after the twisty chases. Now, I don't know how many of those they made. Thousands, probably. You know, the regular one, there's probably 10,000, 20,000. And then the chase, probably like three, four, five thousand. Whatever one sixth of it. So, I'm not that one, I just don't see paying that much for. But this one, 50 bucks. Oh, this one's awesome. So, it's the Freddy Funko Twisty Clown limited edition. How? Yeah, 350 pieces. It's a super limited. I paid 50 bucks for that. That's quite amazing. Oh, so happy with this one. So cool. So to me, that's a very epic, epic Funko Pop. Let me take him out of the pop protector so you can see him a little bit better. And the box is perfect. So that's what he looked like. I'm, I'm excited that I got the mystery box to go with him. I'm excited that I got him. I don't really have many Freddy Funkos in my collection. And I think this one's selling for 120, 150 now. So I got him at the right time at the right price. Very awesome. Oh, I love finding a great deal. Another pop I want to show you is this Ellie Anderson Chase from Mr. Robot. Someone brought him in. I wasn't at the store at the time, but he said he was a fan of the channel and he just wanted to trade this in for another Funko Pop. So thank you for the trade. Uh, I was actually taking a nap at the time, so my wife called me up and just asked me. And the pop price guy at the time was like $21. So basically, I just gave him $21 store credit. I gave him an equal value trade, let him pick out some other Funko Pop stuff, and I got a Funko Pop I didn't have. So I'm really happy with that. And if you guys ever bring in Funko Pops that I don't have and you just want to trade for something else, I'm happy to trade equal value pop price guide value because I don't always have to make a profit when I sell stuff. Sometimes I just want stuff for my collection and I was really happy to get that. Then this is cool. Very awesome. Now, I know you, some of you guys have come in looking to say hello to me for the next few months, probably from about 2 to 3 p.m. on most days is when I'm in the store. Sometimes I'm in the store, other times at hours, other times I'm working on videos and I'm not in the store. But so between like 2 and 3 p.m. is the best time to come visit and say hello if you want to say hello to me. Oh, and one more pickup I want to show you guys is this Freddy Funko ride. I bought this with my son on Batman comic book day. Now on that day I was going to film and I asked him, I said, do you want to film? He said, no daddy, I just want to have a fun day with you. So if he wants to just have a fun day and we're not going to film, I'm just not going to make a video out of it. Cause I don't want to make his life about me filming him all the time. But it was a fun day. We picked up the cool free Batman comic books. He bought a bunch of stuff he liked. And I picked up this cool Freddy Funko ride for 20 bucks. Very awesome. I think it was originally 25 in the shop when it came out, maybe more, maybe 40. I think Pop Rides are 40 in the shop. Pop Price Guide has it down to like 25, 20. So it's selling for less than it originally retailed, but I was happy at 20 bucks. It's awesome. Now, some of the windows are a little bit loose, so it's not in a perfect mint condition, but it's just, it's such a cool Pop Ride. I love the way it looks. So I'm happy to add that to my collection for 20 bucks. So I believe this is an eBay purchase. Have no idea what's in here. So, okay, this is what it looks like what it is it's an empty box with something flat so I, it's probably some kind of ziggy stationary or something oh okay it's cool oh and there's two i didn't realize there was two in the slot oh this is very cool it's a ziggy door hanger with marker and it's like a marker board and it's brand new in the package unused 1981 i didn't have that one yet so that's really exciting i love finding ziggy stuff that i don't own that's one of the most exciting things to me oh and then there's another one I guess maybe I did know there was two because I kind of recognize both of them. But that's really cool. And I think I got those cheap. Maybe like five to ten dollars worth of a pair. Super awesome. Okay, let's do this little eBay box right here. This is what it looks like in the mini box. What is it? I'm not even sure. What is it? Oh. Oh neat. Oh wow. Okay, oh this is awesome. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, this is a little candle votive from halloween i love halloween themed ziggy stuff there's some of my favorite items that you can get and i've never seen this one before if you watch my ziggy room tour you'll see i have a whole shelf of these little votives i have like 15 different maybe i didn't have a halloween one. Oh, that's amazing holy grail <laughs> with ziggy stuff now i'm at the point where i have everything that i knew about so my grails now are things that I just don't know about. So to me, a Halloween object that I've never seen before is definitely a grail item. All right, let's dig into this box. This was a toner direct order. It was a doll they had on sale. It's one that I've wanted for a while. It was like 30 bucks. I think it had free shipping or it might have like a, it might have been like $38 with shipping. Oh, but she's really cool. 
So she's a, a Madeline Macabre bittersweet doll. She's really cool. She's got kind of like that edgy vampire-y kind of look. And she's, I guess she didn't sell that well. So that's why they had her on sale. And they wrote that some of them, like her clothing stains her body. So maybe that's why they had them on sale. But she looks really cool. I've really wanted one of these for a while. So I, 30 bucks. I love buying stuff on sale. And I, I bought this like a couple months ago. <laughs> At a time when I wasn't broke. Now I'm broke. But hopefully in the next month or two, I'll, I'll be able to order some stuff like this again. Because I, I love getting a great deal. I love buying cool stuff for a good price. Let's uh, dig into a holler box. If you guys know, over last winter, I was ordering from them a ton, but the prices kind of went up. But every once in a while, I'll look, and if they have something really cool for a cheap price, I will buy it. So this is what it looks like inside, right there. And they had a whole bunch of these cool little Godzilla finger puppet blind bag figures. Two bucks each. So I just bought a whole pile of these if you guys are godzilla fans and you want to see me unbox these i'll do a video if not they might sit in a pile somewhere for a long time until i find time to do a video it's cool though it has the godzillas from all the different eras from 54 to 2014 i love godzilla you don't see godzilla that often so two bucks each very awesome and i think i had some free holler dollars because they what they do is a lot of times when you make an order if you, you hit checkout it says like if you check out in 10 minutes you get two dollars off your next order that kind of thing so uh, every time i make an order then i have another two dollars to spend so that's really awesome i'm also i'll include the link below if you guys want to check out holler it gives you like two dollars or five dollars store credit something like that and you can check it out sometimes they have really awesome stuff like this sometimes they have nothing so it's kind of a luck of the draw Right, and then another holler box. <laughs> I don't remember what was in it. it was, it's been a few months since I ordered from, so these have been sitting in my hallway for like two or three months. I just figured it's time to get all this stuff open so I can play with it, look at it, put it away. So this is what this box looks like. Oops, oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, I remember this order. I think I ordered a whole bunch of Star Wars ships. Everything was like two or three dollars or less. So this is really cool, a die cast TIE fighter. That is really, you know, first order TIE Fighter. That is really cool. Oh, it's such a sucker because you order like a whole box of stuff. This was probably 20 or 30 bucks for this whole box. Oh, yeah. Another diecast Star Wars ship. The X1 prototype. That is cool. Uh, okay, with Hero Humada, Big Hero 6. I love this movie. And I, I've been slowly collecting all the figures. And they had them for like $3. A little bit beat up, but that's all right. Price is cheap enough that it's kind of exciting to buy them. Oh, okay, I got Anger from Inside Out. He's really cool. Again, he was like two or three bucks. Oh, such a sucker for cheap toys. Okay, this is a cool. Another die-cast X-Wing fighter. Oh, it's Pose X-Wing fighter. Very cool. And we got, uh... Oh, the Millennium Falcon die-cast. This is really cool. Package is kind of destroyed, but that's all right. Sometimes when you get a bargain, you have to deal with a little bit of damage. Uh, regular TIE fighter. I must have ordered every single one they had because they were literally two to three dollars each, like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. Uh, oh, Joy from Inside Out. She's cool. I love this movie. It's such a good movie. And uh, oh, the Ghost. This is the one I was most excited for, but the card is beat up. I might have to look, track down another one. This might be one I open up and play with, and then I get another one. Very cool. I love. As you can see, I got my Star Wars Rebels Funko Pops up there. So I love the Rebels. Very cool. Oh, and I ordered two of them. All right, awesome. <laughs> that's how much I wanted this one. So I got one that's minty mint on the card and one that's beat up so I can open one. Cool, I guess that was the plan. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we got Boba Fett Slave One ship. That's so cool. And oh, last thing. And we got a uh, first order TIE Fighter. So that's really cool. Yeah, usually their shipping is free shipping on $25. So I usually aim for $25. So the Godzilla box is probably $25 with the Godzilla finger puppets. And this box is $25 with the Star Wars and Inside Out figures. That's cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Yeah, so it's like $2 each pretty much for the 12 of them. Plus maybe one was $3. Very cool. Oh, that was fun. I had forgotten I had ordered all the Star Wars ships, so that was really cool. I was happy with everything in there. That stuff is 
cool stuff. And here's the thing. Normally, I don't like going out of my way because a lot of times when they're new, they're $6, $8. And there's so much I want in my collection that it's hard for me to go out and buy new toys for $8. But if I could find cool stuff like that on sale occasionally for cheap, that's how I love to collect. I love the bargain because I'd rather buy 10 figures like this when no one wants them than one figure for the same exact price when everyone's trying to get them. Sometimes it's best to buy off-brand toys because in the long run, they'll be more valuable and you add, you know, overall they're more valuable because it's a lot easier for 20 of these to become worth $10, $20 each than a single like $20 figure to become the same value. And you get a lot of cool stuff that you can enjoy in your collection. And if you need to get rid of it, you paid so cheap for everything that even if you sell it wholesale to like a comic shop or something, in the long run, you won't lose money. And, you know, I have a shop. So if I end up, if I have to sell them down the road, these might be highly collectible. And, you know, when I'm 50 or 60 years old, I might get 20 or $30 out of them. So I like having collections like this where it's stuff that I didn't put a ton of money into each item so that I don't have to really worry about the value. I just focus on having the fun of owning and collecting these things. Just like in these Freddy Funkos. I paid $50. I think $50 is a pretty good price on them. I got them for a discount. If I had bought them for $150, then I'd be worried about, should I sell them? Is the value going up? If the value goes down? Worry. I don't like that worry. I like buying stuff that I know the price is great. You know, it's worth more than what I paid right now. And if the price goes up, that's awesome. And if it goes down, I have some room to lose a little bit and not worry about it. I just want to enjoy my collection. I don't have to worry about the values. Worrying about values is, takes all the fun out of collecting. If you're worrying about values when you're collecting, it's you're worrying about the wrong thing. If you're worrying about that, you should be buying stocks or something. You should be focusing on what you like, the fun of collecting, and the enjoyment of finding things for your collection that you really get excited to own. Okay, next we're gonna open up this box from Japan. Now you guys who watch my videos regularly will know what's in the box. <laughs> I'm super excited because obviously it's gonna be all grail items because it'll be full of items I've never seen before until I saw them online for sale. This proxy company I use to ship stuff, they always do such a nice job packaging everything up. Oops. And there's always a lot of packing peanuts, so it's always a big mess afterwards. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put it down so I can safely take everything out of the box. Still want to be surprised, but I don't want to damage anything. Okay, this first item is like a bigger item. What is this? Don't know what this is. It's a Ziggy item, so that's kind of awesome. Oh, it's a little lamp. Oh, that's amazing. It's a fancy lamp, it's called. Brand new in the package. The package looks like it's in pretty good shape. It has a little bit of dents and wear to it. But overall, for something that's probably like 30, 40 years old, 1978. So it's like 39 years old. The cellophane is in, you know, got a little bit of damage, but it's intact. Uh, the box is all there. It's a little bit dented, but it's not terrible. Oh, that's amazing. It's got a little bit of a tear right there. Oh, the lamp is so cool. Oh, that is awesome. It's all plastic, so it's not like a big fancy lamp. But to me, it's just amazing. It's something I've never seen before. You know, and I've been collecting Ziggy Hardcore for 20 years. So every time I find something like this, my mind is just like, amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy I get that. I've been actually losing a few bids lately. I think more people have been trying to buy Ziggy stuff. Got its original bulb inside it. It's complete. It looks like it's never been used. That's probably my favorite thing so far out of this whole haul. <laughs> I love the Funko Pops, but my original collecting love is Ziggy. So I can't cheat on Ziggy when I find an awesome Ziggy thing. It's definitely going to be one of my favorites. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. Wow. Oh, I love these Japanese boxes. And the thing is, I buy this stuff from Japan. So it takes a while to get here to them. They, they buy the company that I deal with does all the buying in Japan, they ship them to the US. So there's a delay between that. And then they hold on to the items until you tell them to ship them to you. So sometimes it's like a month before I tell them to ship them to me, I'll let a bunch of stuff pile up. So I only have to pay shipping to me once. And so some of the stuff I haven't seen since I won it, you know, two months ago, three months ago, four months ago. And then sometimes, I don't know, when did I get this box? This box is from September. So I waited two months. So a lot of the stuff I won, three or four months ago. <laughs> so it's all exciting and new again because I don't know what it is. I don't remember any of it. Okay, this is a Ziggy pen cup. I feel like somewhere in Japan, there's a Ziggy collection waiting with my name on it. I just haven't found it yet. Someone who collected it back in the day might have like a few hundred items. That would be like a dream come true if I found that. Okay, let's check this out. See what it looks like inside. 
Oh, this is really cool. So it's a tin lithode container for pencils. It looks beautiful to me. I love metal containers like this. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, awesome. Super amazing. What's next in this box? Okay, so this looks Demitas. Oh, okay. This is a little Demitas mug or cup with a saucer. I love the mini. I have behind the Funko Pops right there, I have a shelf of like three or four of them. So this is one I did not have yet. Oh, one day I need a warehouse so I can have all my collections on display so I can show you guys when I'm thinking of something, I can just show it to you. That's what was happening with my Funko Pops. I just had them all boxed up and I had no idea what I had. I kept on thinking, do I have that? Do I don't have that? And it's kind of a silly video where every time I buy a random collection, I'm like, I think I have that one. I don't know if I had that one. I think I have that one. So now I know if I have it or not. It's on the wall. Although I don't know if I have enough space for everything I have in this room because I have over a thousand. And so far, I think I've put three or four hundred out. Okay. Oops. That's the saucer. And this is the cup. All right. This is cool. So they, inside the box, they bagged and bubble wrapped everything to keep it safe. I almost don't want to take it out because I'm afraid of damaging it, but... Oh, so awesome. Okay, Ziggy's holding the little hearts. And it's... It's like a square shape. Uh, 1980. Oh, you'd have your, you know, little tea ceremony with that. It's a very Japanese object, but with an American character. I love it. That's some of my favorite Ziggy items I get. Something that's Ziggy, but very native to Japan or whatever culture that I'm getting out of. Whatever country I find, if I find an object that relates very much to the culture of that country, but has Ziggy on it, oh, I love it. It's so awesome. So here's the saucer. It says Ziggy's World on the bottom. It's got like a kind of square with rounded edge shape. That is beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. Probably just put it on the shelf with the other ones. <laughs> That's what I'll probably do. I'll just put it up higher. And then when I can move the Funko Pops, I'll put it on that shelf. I'm so torn. I What I started doing was sorting with the Funko Pops is I just put them stacked in front of the Ziggy shelves for now. I don't really like how high they're stacked because I don't think the boxes will hold up long term. So this is just so I can finish the sort, do a collection tour. Then I'm probably going to put everything back away safely. But I want to do a series of videos, like top 10 videos, collection tour videos, all kinds of fun videos. So that's why I'm sorting the Funko Pops right now. And it'll be a lot easier for me to know what I have once I've done a full sort. And I want to get everything into the pop price guide so I know exactly what I have. All right, that was awesome. Awesome cup. What else is in this box? Ooh, we got a big plastic Ziggy bag. So this is just a shopping bag. Someone would have got this when they bought something. So it's not... In standard collectible terms, it's nothing of great value or pursuit. Like, no one collects shopping bags. But for me as a Ziggy collector, something like this is mega rare because this would have been thrown out most places or recycled and not kept. So I love buying shopping bags. It just it represents a moment in time where you would have bought something, had Ziggy in your bag. This would have been filled with whatever. And whoever bought it put the bag away and kept this. So that's awesome. I love shopping bags. And I find much nicer ones in Japan. The American ones I have are all beat up. I got one Ziggy like card bag that you would got from a gift card that was used to wrap around a mug to protect the mug. So the mug was a common mug. I didn't care about the mug, but the bag to me might be one of the last ones to know in existence. I might be the only person who owns one because they were all destroyed. So that was really exciting to me. Oh, cool. Okay, we got another shopping bag. This one said, uh, someday my ship will come in, probably during the dock strike. <laughs> oh, poor Ziggy. The world's most winning loser. Oh, that's so cool. I love these. These are from the late 70s, so they're almost 40 years old. Anything else in this? Oh, okay. And then we got another bag. Oh, these are just lunch bags. So they're plastic lunch bags. That's the tag. Let me take it out of the bag. Oh, Ziggy World, Ziggy lunch bag. Original unused 1978 Ziggy lunch bags. They're plastic bags. Uh, I can just imagine little kids in Japan bringing these to school in the late 70s with their lunch. Putting their bento box in there. That is so cool. And I think that's everything in this box. Oh, so the box is done, but I'm so satisfied. I got so many cool things in that box. Okay, we're down to the last box. The last box is this big box now. It's not super full of Funko Pops. It's only got like five or six in there. But I had one I was really excited to pick up. Now, the lady brought them into the shop 
a month or two ago she came in she had to pay a car repair bill so i basically gave her half the pop price guide for everything in the box all right let me start digging them out and showing you okay first we got was the cool job of the hut set i have that set already so this will probably go into my shop i am going to double check leia though because the one i have she flops down all the time so i want to see if her balance is better than the one i have already i would love this set this would be one of my top sets if leia actually sat well now if she also flops down on this it drops the value in my mind not the value but it drops the enjoyment of the set down a lot and so it goes from one of my top favorite sets to a set that just annoys me a lot because every time i look at it, i'm like it looks cool in the box but you can't take it out of the box so i'm hoping that i can actually get her to sit that would be pretty cool next i'm going to look in here because i know what's in this box and i want to show you the best one last okay so this is cool this is a target exclusive crossbones which now that i get my collection sorted not super well but I know he's on the wall somewhere. There's regular crossbones. Okay, so looking at the wall, I have the regular one, but I don't have the battle damage one. So maybe I don't have this one or I still have it in a box I haven't opened yet. So that's cool. If I don't have them, I'm super excited. And if I have them, that's fine. He'll go in the shop. The Mega Man Quick Boomerang from the Black Friday box. This one I've been getting a lot lately. I just guess a lot of people didn't want to keep this one out of the box. I like him. I think he's cool but a lot of people don't love them. Okay, and then the last pop in this box is one that I've really wanted for a while. It's on my, I have a list of maybe like 10 or 20 older ones I really, really want that aren't too expensive. I just didn't want to pay full price for them. So I got a half price, super happy to get that. And that's the original Lino. So happy to get that one. I have Chitara and I think that might be it. I don't know if I have any more and I really want the full set of Thundercats. And I want all the super exclusive. Now the front here is a little dirty, but I'll be able to clean that up really easily. Oh, so excited. Super awesome. I love adding older, rarer, more valuable pops to my collection. It's so much fun. Especially if it's like an 80s cartoon that I absolutely love. When I see this, I have, it's like a time machine to my head. I just remember watching the show and loving it. I don't remember all the episodes that well because I haven't watched it. I watched season one again, maybe like 15 years ago on DVD. Uh, I think I need to watch it with my son though. I think he would enjoy it. And I haven't seen the seasons after season one, but I just, when I watched it, I realized I still really loved it. Some older shows I watch, like I watch G.I. Joe and it's like, I love G.I. Joe as a kid rewatching it. It looks kind of boring. It's not as good. Or you watch He-Man, that thing's garbage. <laughs> I loved He-Man as a kid watching now. I'm like, wow, these episodes are terrible. But Thundercats is actually pretty good writing, pretty good storytelling. So I'm excited to get the Funko Pop. Super awesome. All right, so that's the end of my mega haul. It was a ton of fun. I opened up a ton of packages. I'm so happy you have everything open and everything arrived safely. Sometimes I sit there kind of anxious. I see a box, I'm like, I should open that today because I don't know if it's complete. I don't know if it's missing. I don't know if it's broken. I get a little bit nervous, but everything arrived safely. A couple things are dinged up, but nothing that's the end of the world. So I'm so happy to have these all open. I really enjoyed opening up all these boxes. If you guys enjoyed watching me open up all those boxes, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what kind of stuff. Do you want to see me opening up all kinds of random stuff? Do you want me to stick with the pops? Do you want me to open up some older stuff? Do you want me to talk about older toys? Just give me some suggestions in the comments below because I love making videos and I want to make sure I'm making videos that you guys enjoy. It seems like the Funko Pops are the most popular videos right now, but I do like doing other kinds of videos because I love collecting so many different things. Like Funko Pops, I love because they all tie into other things I collect. You know, like Thundercats. I love 1980s Thundercats action figures. I don't have a lot, but I would collect them if I saw them. So getting a Funko Pop goes with that. Or I love, you know, comic books. So getting Marvel Funko Pops go with my comic book collection. Or, or I like retro video games. I like Street Fighter. So getting Street Fighter Funko Pops. That's really cool. So they, my Funko Pop collection kind of weaves and inter twines with all my other collections so it's fun to me i love it if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoy this content please subscribe i like making videos for my subscribers and i appreciate everyone who gives me comments subscribes and watches my videos and has a fun time with me let me do a sum up of everything i got in this video bye <laughs>